And so what we're going to do next is create another UDFB to initialize the instances of the scale function block. Before we can use the scale function block, we have to initialize the offset and slope parameters. The new block will use structured text. Structured text is a text-based programming language in which the program instructions are entered as discrete statements in a text source file. This programming method is similar to other high-level programming languages such as C or Visual Basic. The basic unit of a structured text program is a statement. A statement is an instruction for the processor to perform some set of actions. Structured text programs are simply lists of statements. So let's create another logic block. We're going to name it scale init or scale initialize and it's going to be structured text. Now let's define our parameters for the scale init function. Input max will be an integer. Input min will also be an integer. Output max is an integer. And output min is also an integer. The last input is actually going to be an instance of our scale function. We're going to name it fb for function block scale. And it's going to be of data type scale. So that parameter is of type scale and that means that a scale function block instance will be passed into the function block. The function block can then operate on the data specific to that function block instance. And let's click OK. And if we wander over into our function block instance, we've got a list of instances that exist. So that variable we just created, FB scale, is of data type scale, and it's used in function block init. And if we go over to our tag database, let's hide our system tags again. We've got all of these uh, local tags that we just created. So these are the ones that we created while we were creating our scale function block. And these are the inputs. And let's get going on our scale init function block. I'm going to start off with a comment here. This section is going to convert our inputs to floating points. Comments can start with a double slash, and that will mean that just that line is a comment. So if I start typing here, our input max, it's not green. So that means this is not part of this comment. If you did want your comment to be on multiple lines, another way to format a comment is to start with a parenthesis star, and then the comment won't end. until it sees the other star parenthesis. Our first line of code is going to set our input max to be equal to the result of the any to real function input max. And when I click enter here, it's going to ask me to define our input max. Because input max is one of our input parameters, but our input max has not been defined yet. It's going to be a local variable of real type real and local scope. 
So these first four lines of code are really just going to convert all of the inputs to this function block into real numbers. This next line is going to calculate the slope. So we're going to set the internal R slope variable for our function block scale. We do this by typing fb scale dot R slope. And we're going to set that equal to our output max minus R output min all divided by r input max minus r input min. And then finally we're going to calculate the offset. So again we're going to set the internal function block scale, our offset value, be equal to our output max minus the slope times our input max. And let's compile again. No errors. This completes the logic for our scale init function block. Next, we will be adding logic to the power-up and main routines.